How you going? Mike here from Prado 150 out of here. Good to have you with the company. Just about to do a brake pad change on the rear brakes or the Prado 150. Before I start, just wanted you to know I am not a mechanic and I do know my limits in what I do to the Prado. However, I am able to do the brakes without any dramas and uh, we'll get to it. I'm going to sneak up on Josh, he's sitting in the driver's seat in the car, so there's a lot to do. It's the only display of the way it is. Oh, got you mate, sitting in the Prado. What are you doing Josh? Listening to the music? Are you the safety officer buddy? You know, for doing these brakes or what? You're not? Oh, that's not very nice. Hey. I'll do my bike the drive. Yeah, you think you do? You think you're driving already? There, sitting in there. Just uh, we're using Bendix brakes here. It's the uh, full drive SUV on road feel, apparently, for the Prado 150. So, uh, yeah, they're good quality for um, for four drives. Well. Let's get hey into guys, it. how you going? We uh, we've come lucky. I've got plenty of time today to, to get this job done. Um, taking the brake pads out was uh, pretty easy, so we've got them here. Um, no worries at all. And lucky we took them out today. They are right down to almost nothing, but not quite. So it does pay to check every now and again to make sure your brake pads um, have some meat on them. So when we were painting up the wheels black, I happened, you know, we pulled the wheels off. So I happened to check. So uh, yep, they're no good. But however, when I went to get the new ones out, hmm, what do you reckon? I think they're a bit different size. So in actual fact, I ordered the ones for the rear, and they gave me the ones for the front. Anyway, things happen, so no big deal. I gave Autobahn a ring, and they said, yep, sorry about that. We've got the back ones or the rear ones here for you and we'll leave them at the front desk so can't complain about that just takes a bit longer so I'm going to whip into Auto Barn and grab the right ones so yeah I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna fit in there somehow they're just um I think they're just a bit on the uh on the large side you can see that you know it makes sense that they'd have the bigger ones on the on the front which these are for maybe I should just keep them eh? uh keep them as spares that might be a good idea um, anyway, I'll work that one out. Back into auto barn, grab my brakes. I'll switch my brakes over. The old mask on. Hey guys, here we are again. Now we've got the right brake pads, so uh, just going to put them in shortly. They still say for a 120 Prado, even though they assured me that it is also for a 150 Prado, so see how we go. But they certainly look like uh, the correct size. So uh, I'll just get stuck into that now. So, or brake caliper, all I've got to do is undo this bolt here and this one here. Take this off, take out the uh, old brake pads, put the new ones in. Then I have to squeeze the cylinder back with a special tool and then place the caliper back on and she should all be good. Now, I just want to let you know it is a rather easy or basic job. However, if I do run into any problems, I know my limits and I would get this checked out. 
if I have any complications, I would get it checked out by the experts, being brakes. So yeah, I just wanted you to know I'm not that naive um, to do this without any qualifications and to try and fix anything that I don't know anything about. But this basic process is pretty basic. I've done it before and I haven't had any dramas. So that's why I'm doing it now. But if I had seen anything that looked unusual, untoward, or something didn't go back in place as it should, uh, I wouldn't try and go any further with it. Um, I've got an option to call out a mobile mechanic to uh, come and have it checked out. Obviously, uh, when you're dealing with brakes, it's a major safety issue, or can be a safety issue if you don't get it done properly. But so far, so good. The other side went on no problems at all, and I don't see that there should be any problems with this side. So guys, I just did a, a, a very quick run through, as you can see, uh, we call like a hyperlapse. You want to bore you with the details of undoing bolts and all that, but these are those two bolts that I said that I took out. So these came out, no problem at all. And these brake pads are, yeah, they're looking a bit worse for wear, so um, let's take them off, put them on the new ones. So yeah, these are a bit worse for wear as well. Um, they're quite quite low in fact. So lucky I got them in time. So there we go, I got my money's worth out of those brake pads. Um, all right, so it's just a matter of popping these in. And I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they just go in there. They, they're just a bit uh, tricky to try and work out how to get them in, but um, yeah, I'm sure that the experts know how to get them in pretty quick smart. Uh, that's the disadvantage of, uh, of uh, not being one of those experts. But anyway, in saying that, it's just gone in nice and easy. So that's in nice and easy there. And uh, the other one should go in the same way. Making sure you've obviously got them in the right, uh, right way. Alright guys, so I didn't want to bore you with the details, but uh, that one there has gone in. So is that one there has gone in. So there's a cylinder in here. And you can see. So that there just has to be pushed back in. So what happens is as the brakes wear down, obviously this uh, this comes out, and as they wear down, um, it stays up against the back of the uh, brake pad. When you put your put your foot on the brake, it obviously pushes into the uh, pad. So it only comes out of you know a mill if you're lucky when your brakes aren't on, and as you wear them down, the cylinder keeps coming out. So to make it go and fit back in, I we'll just have to push him back in, make sure the reservoir. Uh, the brake oil doesn't the brake fluid doesn't overflow in the reservoir uh, so far so good it's I've, I've already checked it and uh, it's just a matter of putting this caliper back on uh, going for a test drive making sure there's no funny noises and that the back brakes work one thing I hopefully will notice is that the handbrake will not have so far to travel as it does now which is usually a bit of a sign that your um, brake pads are starting to get low all right guys so um the calipers are on or caliper is on with the new brake pads you can see the major difference just in there just in the uh, obviously it's got heaps of meat on it that's what we want to see now um i've just put these in i've been really careful not to crimp uh, this rubber piece uh so i've done these up hand tight they've gone in nicely you don't want to uh, cross threaded or anything so you just got to be really careful so they're all done up hand tight and i'm gonna uh, do them up uh, with this so i'm using a it's a 17 i think it was yeah 17 mil uh for this so let's see i'll just um, do them up nice and tight so yeah i'll do that it's a bit hard doing it with one hand and that's pretty much it and then there'll be the test drive and uh, bake break pads. Okay, so I've successfully uh, replaced the brake pads. 
Uh, it's just a matter of putting the wheel on now and taking it uh, for a test drive. I've just checked the fluid. Uh, the fluid's risen a little bit, but nothing uh, out of the ordinary there, so she's all good. Um, so I just want to make sure that everything's all good uh, with the brakes and take it for a, a short ride uh, around the block. So, success! Guys, how are you going? I'm just loving these black wheels, hey? What do you reckon? They uh, really make, really uh, set the cargo out, doesn't it? So I'm just going to pop this back on. Get it ready for a test drive. Beautiful, eh? You on the two wheels, mate? Hey guys, I'm just um, doing my inspection under the car and I'm Look, um, it is a Prado 150 uh, site, so um, I'm going to show off the Prado. I think they're a wonderful car. I'm a bit biased. But uh, there's the King Spring that we put in, and you can see the airbag just inside the spring there. So Joshua and I did that. And we also did the Fulcrum Shock, shock Absorber. So there you go. Now look at that, hey? Look underneath this vehicle. It's just... Absolutely beautiful. No issues at all. Um, we've done a bit of bush bashing and no dramas at all. There's our adjustable link bar there. Adjustable sway bar link. That's the proper name for it. So uh, everything's all in uh, good nick under here. Now, and there's the other one. You can just see the bottom of the ful uh, fulcrum shock absorber there. So, uh, no issues here. It's all working well. Just take you to the other part of the car. Yeah, so like I said, this is the Prado 150. It's a 2015 model. It's the um, three litre, last of the three litres. And it's a bit dirty, but other than that, I mean dirty from dust. So there's no leaks. It's done 176,000 kilometres. No problems at all. Only thing recently we had was a problem with the relay where the car tried to start itself. That was a fix. Um, yeah, looking good there. You've got the fulcrum and uh, King Springs on the front as well. Like I said, we I didn't do that job. We, we left that to the suspension uh, guys. Because, um, yeah my limit there dealing with any suspension uh, well not the other well, steering side of things anyway so you can just see the spring and the fulcrum shocky there so these boots they're all looking pretty good uh, we had one of the rods had to be changed over that's just because the bushes were getting a bit old um, but other than that she's uh, all pretty good there's no nothing leaking up there so, uh, very, I'm very impressed uh, with this car so far. So, uh, should no doubt get us to Cape York without any problems. There we go. Hey guys, thanks for joining me once again on Prado 150 out of here. It's been great to have your company. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I thought I'd just take you through a bit of uh, maintenance, a bit of basic maintenance. I'm not a mechanic and not qualified in any way uh, to do mechanical work. However, I do know how to do the brakes and I've done them before, so it's a fairly straightforward job if you know what you're doing. So I just thought I'd show you how that I do it and what to look out for in relation to your brake pads getting a bit low. As you can see, uh, everything went smoothly and we didn't have any issues. But I just want to say if I did have an issue or couldn't get something back the way it should be or I had any doubt in what I did, uh, I would be calling a mobile mechanic to come out and check my work or fix up whatever it is that I couldn't fix up. So I'm very uh, high on the safety aspect, especially dealing with brakes. However, I have done that job before and generally speaking, I found it to be straightforward. Uh, also, um, 
I am biased, but I think the Prado, particularly the 150, and also I've, I've heard the 120, they're excellent cars. They get a lot of mileage out of them and nothing much uh, goes wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyhow, um, I know it's a bit of a, a stressful time at the moment. Uh, lockdown in Brisbane and COVID's reared its ugly head again. Uh, I'm in Toowoomba and we've just had one case present itself. So we're just waiting on to see what they're going to do with uh, Toowoomba. Hoping nothing at the moment. Uh, as like you guys, we've planned a trip away for the Easter weekend. Um, I'm happen to be able to coincide some time off with that and with the holidays uh, with the kids. Doesn't happen very often. So I'm really uh, looking forward to getting away with the with my kids. So uh, hopefully everything goes okay and we can all go away and have a great weekend doing what we love doing best, getting out there, full driving, camping, getting on the tracks, getting our cars dirty. And yeah, so once again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.